all throughout the three session i have just a question i am not biased to anyone i just need my answer like there are n number of employment opportunities but we are never exposed to the requirement and advantages suppose like sharing a uh, experience like if i suggest my junior that uh, you should work in such domain iska future hai like ai ho data science so like if i am from tech sector but people never get the advantage because unhe lagta hai ki recession chal raha hai iska future aane mein aur 5 10 saal lag jayenge so i just want to know ki jitne requirement hai like sir ncert ke ar modules ke bare mein bata rahe the तो वो भी एक जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी है क्यों हम फॉरेन से किसी को बुलाएं हम डेवलप करने के लिए जब हमारे पास इंडिया में डेवलपमेंट करने वाले मिल सकते हैं एन नंबर ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज कैन बी ओपन फॉर अस इन आवर बैकग्राउंड एंड आवर मतलब हमारी भूमि में अपॉर्चुनिटीज खोल सकते हैं सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट एन कि ये मैसेज हमारे मतलब हमारे बैकग्राउंड के स्टूडेंट्स तक कैसे पहुँचे कि आपको अपॉर्चुनिटी आप ही के देश में मिलेगी एंड फ्यूचर भी है like anyone from the dignitary i can start yes yes actually uh, ncert is in the process of uh, development of national curriculum framework the plurality of uh, choices curricular choices that issue is being also addressed and the future skills upcoming skills that need is also being taken care of maybe by next month or may th this month the ncf will be released and the new generation of textbook for all the classes from class 3 to 12 is likely to come by next march april so you will find many innovative courses including future skills will be taken care of as a generic subject even as a vocational subject at school level because the nep also has mentioned about introduction of coding and programming from class 6 so even for robotics also so um, um, ar vr virtual uh, reality uh, content and all uh, so that will also be uh, happening and also as a part of uh, development of skills and also nurturing more uh, talents in the area as far as media and technology is concerned as i was mentioning 200 more tv channels are coming if ncert is uh, uh, having 250 staff members to run 12 channels so you can imagine that for 400 200 uh, more channels so how many human resource will be required so for that also we are working with different uh, skill sector agencies even ncert is having a central institute of vocational education which is also having uh, 17 different sectors and more than 100 skill courses being developed and the 50 courses are already developed so those courses will help further in bringing those to the field and skilling the youth for the future skills thank you very much thank just you, sir. just wanted to add one thing to the sir's point i think all, all these are great initiatives right uh, ncf and all the you know all the list in information that will be there but i i come from a development space and and we work with like we have professionals coming in working in ngos also and one of the thing that we have to ask students uh, whoever is coming to join the organization at a very early stage go read ncf right and and people we will have to ask them because it's mota sa book hai padhna padega there are a lot of information but informations are there and it will come the important thing to also start doing is introducing career as a as a as a conversation topic in the school and and one of the outcomes should be the students when they are passing class 10 they are coming out having clear clear career pathways defined for them what they want to do and what is the career pathway and and it it should happen through inquiry what is available what is the future and all of that at quest we are developed a career game which is which has been launched pilot Uh, one has been launched the second version is getting developed so we are trying to also bring technology which will help student to gather all this information play a game and figure out what do we want to do and and if i want to do this what is the journey looks like whether i want to get on this journey or should we should i do i want to try something else because i don't like the journey though the outcome is good 
so i think awareness at the career at the school level should be built so that student comes out with clarity on career pathway as well right. so i just uh, like to add to that you very rightly said that today on internet almost every career path definitions are there but the reality of the matter today is that the world has become so flat that if you want to do something and you are really passionate about it you really pursue that you like the field that you are in you will 110% succeed if you do not enjoy the area that you are working in you have just gotten it because aapke friend ne bola ki wo acha hai ye hot area hai isme hoga but you are not enjoying that journey the world has become flat and there is competition you will not get competition only from india you will get competition from bangladesh china from everywhere in the world the the mantra to success today is follow your passion jo aapko pasand hai jo aap which the thing that you do not feel is work which feels like play to you jo aapko karte hue 10 ghante chale jaye lekin aapko ghadi dekhne ki zarurat nahi ho that is the career even if it is developmental sector ho you know it sector ho creative sector ho but you will 100% succeed if that is the career path you follow so my request to all the youngsters is do not get you know uh, influenced by mere char friends aaj ai mein gaye to main ai karna hai right rather than that this is when you are young explore five options but stick to the option for the rest you know once you hit your you know late 20s stick to the option that really feels like play to you then you will succeed that nobody can stop you from succeeding then